Hi, my name is Charles Kuntz and I'm one of the surgeons at Southpaws. I'm going to do a short video for you today um, that's going to help dispel maybe some of the myths that uh, surround laparoscopic surgery. The fact that with practice you can actually get very skilled. The brain's ability to adapt is due to neuroplasticity and it's what allows us to do things like drive a car, use a keyboard, or play a musical instrument. So with this demonstration I've taken a pencil and put it through a hole in the box. And what we'll find is that the movements that are made outside the box are reversed and upside down on the inside of the box. So if I move the pencil on the outside of the box in the shape of an upright and correctly oriented letter R, you can see that on the inside of the box, the R is being formed upside down and reversed. It's the same with laparoscopic surgery. Because there's a fulcrum at the body wall, you have to learn to reverse your movements on the outside of the abdomen. For example, if you want to move to the left inside the abdomen, you have to move your hand to the right. If you want to move down inside the abdomen, you have to learn to move your hand up. And so all of these movements are reversed, but again, with practice, they can be achieved with great skill and precision. Prior to your first clinical case, you should spend a lot of time practicing on a laparoscopic trainer. This one costs about $60 and there are some that cost up to maybe $500. The ones that cost $500 often include multiple different training um, platforms. Also, they come with a, a, a learner's set of surgical instruments. So really, it's all you need to get some skill in laparoscopic surgery. So initial training should be just at attempting to get some dexterity moving with the instruments and recognizing how the movements outside the abdomen are reversed compared to those on the inside of the abdomen. But with practice, you can see that we can get some pretty significant skill performing things like knot tying and even suturing, although these are very advanced procedures that will take you a while to get comfortable with doing. There are lots of videos on YouTube that can be really helpful in seeing what's possible with laparoscopic surgery as well as practice techniques in order to improve your skills. So this is the laparoscopic telescope. They come in numerous different sizes. This is a 5.0 millimeter laparoscope with a zero degree offset, which means that whatever or whatever the scope is pointing at is exactly what you see in the camera. Now triangulation is a really important concept with laparoscopic surgery. And the idea with triangulation is that you have the telescope or the camera in the middle, and then you have your instruments on either side um, equidistant from the telescope so that your movements and the target is always in the center of your laparoscopic field. So here we have the laparoscopic telescope in the middle and then we have our instruments on either side and the target is down here and so when the scope is pointing at the target and the instruments are on either side it gives you the correct orientation so that your movements are intuitive. Remember, be patient. With practice, you can improve very quickly. The rewards in terms of business advantage, personal satisfaction, and patient outcomes are worth it.